it would be uh, my $15 haircut that I get uh, in East Village near my house um, on First Avenue and um, maybe I shouldn't be telling you guys this, it won't be a secret. Yves Saint Laurent, he's um, professional and personal. I'm professional for, you know, it's so beautiful. He's always been my um, like design guru and someone that I look up to. But besides that, it's personal because I think he was always so suave and especially the outfits that he wore when he was in Marrakesh. I think they were pretty, I would say, wild and free and I would say show the real true side of him which I think is very sensitive and personal. Yeah. Beautiful, smart, intelligent girls. That 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 would be it. As a designer, as a creative person, it's very um you know, with this sense of reverence and respect for fashion history and history in general, I think every style has its own place. So it's really tough for me, and especially now, like when it's revisited, I think there is a, a fresher approach to it and it feels new. So it's very difficult for me to say which particular style, but if I had to, if I had to choose, mm, I would say um, those, you know, those visible thongs and um, and Uggs, and, um, and perhaps a drop crotch pants for men. Yeah. You know, I went to an old boys a British Catholic school and um, the uniform that we had to wear was pretty stifling for me. And I, I think, you know, because of that I tried to change it around and made it my own. So the sky blue shirt turned, everyone would be like, you know, wearing that same color, I was the only one who had turned it into steel gray. And so, yeah, I'd say the school uniform.